Alright guys, hope you're all doing well, hope you're all keeping safe. On Wednesday's State of the Game we learned about the new Appearance Mods, which is a transmog feature coming with Title Update 11 that would allow you to swap the look of your gear for another piece of gear aside from exotics, meaning there's going to be way more options in terms of how you want your agent to look. Now today I want to talk about the very public community response, backlash, whatever you want to call it to this news. If you want to support me, you can drop a like down below and watch the video all the way through. That really does help. And with that said, let's begin. So guys, where do we start? Now we are getting appearance mods. If you didn't watch the stream or my recap video on Wednesday, I'll just give you a brief summary. Uh, and that's it's pretty much a transmog feature, if you're familiar with something like Destiny. What this means is, say for example, you've got a Providence chess piece, uh, but you like the look of, say, a Wyvern piece. Well, each piece of gear will now have a mod slot uh, with Title Update 11 that would allow you to change the appearance of, say, that Providence piece to that Wyvern piece that you want. Of course, the item itself retains all the attributes as if it were the Providence piece, as it's just the vanity that changes. The devs confirmed this won't work for exotics, which are kind of unique in their appearance to everything else. And when TU11 does go live, it won't be retroactive. This means that if you have previously owned, say, a Gila mask but no longer have it, you will need to farm for it again in order to use this as part of the appearance mods. When you do own that piece of gear, however, it does become a permanent unlock. So at that point, you could get rid of it and it will still exist as an option. That's basically how it's going to work. Now, on the surface, this feature is not a bad feature. In fact, for a lot of people, this is a very good feature that they've wanted since probably day one. So why then has there been such a huge uproar in response to State of the Game on Wednesday? Quite simply, I think it comes down to a few things. Number one, the initial tweet from the, uh, the official Division 2 account said, State of the Game returns on August 19th with a first look at a new feature coming with TU11 that's been a popular request since the early days of the Division. Now, I've been a Division 1 player since day one, and this didn't really make sense to me when it, in terms of an appearance mod. Now, with this type of tweet... Uh, what's always going to happen is it's going to stir speculation about what feature it could be that's coming, many of which the community has been asking for, like crossplay, companion app, and there's many other things that have been popular requests since the early days of the division or popular requests in uh, the division two. I'm not talking about content, guys. I'm not talking about survival and stuff like that. I'm not talking about game modes. I'm talking about features. Okay. Of course, you know this tweet. This caused. The hype train to start, you know, to begin a little bit. This caused players, myself included, to actually get excited about what it could be. And as a result, you know, it set an expectation way above what the actual feature offered, I would say, to the majority of the community. I mean, I was prepared for a companion app myself. In a selfish way, that's kind of what I wanted. And in fact, when I did my speculation video, I talked about Transmog. And I actually immediately dismissed it as some of that I didn't think they were working on. It's some of that I didn't think was valuable compared to other stuff that we could get. Obviously, because the expectation bar had been set so high, the news of a transmog feature wasn't exactly what a lot of people expected. And that's because the tweet said, you know, it's been a popular request. Some a lot of people disagree with. Now, was a transmog feature requested in the division by people? Yes. And in the Division 2, yes, but I would never put this as a popular request, not even close. And that is the problem. It's it's the fact that they said it's a popular request when I don't think it is. I, I rarely, I mean, I check the forums all of the time, and I don't think I've seen this being requested in a very long time. Um, and also, uh, the problem is as well, is that you set that expectation, and because it's so high and you don't meet that expectation, people are going to feel underwhelmed. And that's exactly what happened here. Number two, State of the Game returned after another two-week break following a five-week break. So it's quite obvious that the community was expecting some significant news on what's coming. You know, it'd been pretty much seven weeks. Now, while State of the Game did provide, you know, a mini roadmap of what to expect from the next two streams, I do not think a whole stream 
should have been dedicated to transmog alone and i think people expected to hear more about you know the rainbow loop tile update 11 uh, certainly more about skyscraper and other content from this stream a lot of the responses i've seen on the forums uh, about this state of the game are from people saying that they don't care too much about transmog and what they want to hear about is the new content again this was another big problem when you effectively have seven weeks away from talking about anything new the community of course wanted to hear about new content not a feature that wasn't and isn't a popular one compared to other features that people have been asking for personally i think the stream layout is almost backwards um in many ways had the devs started with rainbow loot and changes coming with this followed by one stream talking about skyscraper and then transmog coming into that and then the last stream talking about tu11 uh changes and, and all that sort of stuff i think this would have worked better to be honest. Now what I am going to say is my expectations, <laughs> they've actually been exceeded compared to where they were before the tweet about a new feature and that's again part of the problem. At that point before the new tweet I didn't expect any new features to be coming until year three at the earliest and I imagine a lot of people in the community, uh, a lot of hardcore players, certainly people who are very vocal on, on forums and stuff, I imagine a lot of those people didn't expect any new features to be coming until year three. I expected us to get season three and season four with the manhunts, skyscraper as a new game mode, and, and that was pretty much it, aside from, you know, new gear and new weapons and, and, and that sort of thing. Basically the same as what we've had for season one and season two, except for the new uh, skyscraper game mode. That's what I expected prior to that tweet. And you know what, had the devs not released that tweet, and done the streams in the order that I said with those topics, I reckon the news of the appearance mods uh, would have been way better received because there would have been no expectations for any new features. It would have come out of nowhere. And it, I think personally, the whole community would have been way more forgiving, if that makes sense. Uh, this is why I'm so conflicted, to be honest. I think the Transmog feature, I think it's a good addition to the game for some people. But the way in which it was sold to us prior to Wednesday's state of the game, or Wednesday's stream, is what I believe has caused the majority of the frustration. It certainly caused the majority of the frustration to me. I'll be honest, guys, when I, when I heard about the appearance mods and Transmog, I wasn't like, oh my god, I can't believe they're adding to this game. What about all this other stuff? I, in my head, I'm like, you know, this is, a good, this is not a bad feature, but my expectations are up here, and now you've really uh, caused frustration because it didn't meet those expectations. I think the fact that the devs said that this is a highly popular request from the division, it kind of feels like a smack in the face for the majority of people who want the actual popular requests, like Crossplay, a companion app, and all the other popular requests that are littered on all of the forums. If I go onto the forums right now, I could probably find a thousand posts about crossplay or cross save and a thousand posts about an app where you can change gear or you know the companion thing which was in the division one where you could have a drone and all the other features you know you could find a thousand posts on those you won't find many posts about a transmog feature and, and that's where i think the devs are a little bit out of touch with what the actual community want and that is the, probably the biggest issue here. Overall, this is why the community was upset with this news. We all want these highly popular requests to come to fruition. And whilst I think the transmog feature is somewhat that will please an audience in this community, and I do think it is a good feature, it was sold as a highly popular feature, which set an expectation way above what it should have been. This should have just been added as a feature. It, there shouldn't have been this expectation set. And that way, when it did come out, people would have probably taken to it much better than what they've taken to it now. Of course, there are other issues in the game and all that sort of stuff, um, and there are obviously more features and stuff, but ultimately, this is where the frustration lies, and, and part of it is, is just the communication side of things. In fact, what I will say is that I've gone back to check over the tweets and the uh, the article the devs put out about before the actual state of the game to come out about this new feature that's coming that we didn't know about, and what they said was one of... Uh, one of these, one of a new feature, basically. So it sounded like there was more than one. But I've gone back to check that tweet. I've gone back to check that post. And now it just says a new feature. And it appears that it's probably been changed at some point because people were saying, okay, well, we're getting this transmog feature. But if you go back and check uh, the post, which was this week in the Division 2 on the official website, it did say one of the new features. Uh, and, and I think they've gone back to change that, knowing that the language used 
was wrong. And, and again, it's a communication issue and that's where we are stuck. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. I didn't want this to be ranty or anything. I kind of just wanted to explain uh, where I, why I think the, the community is in uproar about this. Ultimately, we do need new features. Transmog is not a bad feature at all, but there are much bigger and much better features that I think the community really, really wants. And uh, all you've got to do is go onto the forums and they are littered everywhere. So please, devs, if you do want to implement a feature in the future, um, don't call it a highly popular feature if it's not a highly popular feature. And that way, expectations won't be set and people won't feel frustrated when those expectations are not met. Hope you all have a good weekend. And until the next one, epic out.